that time, of course, on a Sunday. We're finally done with the preseason in the NFL, a time where a lot of fantasy football players like to wait to do their drafts. Jeff Corcini mm -hmm. from Fantasy Football Starters joining us right now. My husband, actually, some friends emailed, said, please let Vic have some time off today to do our fantasy football draft. So <laughs> it's, it's happening. A, yes, lot of, it a lot of groups waiting till today. That's right, Tess. And it's been an interesting preseason, you know. And one of the uh, first we'll talk about what did we learn in relation to the preseason and um, I think you start off with the big topic of Michael Vick. He's going to be back in the NFL. Mm -hmm. um, he's playing for the Eagles. That's right. He's going to serve a two-game suspension. He'll probably be playing in week three. So when you look back, a lot of people have been asking from a fantasy perspective, probably not going to add a lot of value because he's probably going to be the third string quarterback. But uh, that's been a, a very hot topic, as we all well know. But it looks like he's back in the NFL. So not a great pick is what you're saying. Yeah, not a real good pick. And then the other thing we've learned in the preseason is Aaron Rodgers is going to be a good quarterback. Not only a good, Yeah, not only a good fantasy football quarterback but a real good NFL quarterback <laughs> got a lot of got a lot of uh, weapons with him and so we think he's gonna have a real good year all right how about rookie uh, running back who the Cardinals will see in week one makes your list someone yeah. that's making your list there Glenn Coffey we all know Frank Gore is Frank Gore is the starting quarterback uh, starting running back with the 49ers but Glenn Coffey a rookie he's not only gonna be the number two but he's probably gonna get some touches he is gonna be a stud a surprise player kind of like Beanie Wells so he's another pick and then we have uh, we have Percy Harvin, probably the one wide receiver drafted by the Minnesota Vikings, probably the one rookie wide receiver who'll make an impact this season, returning punts, kicks, opportunities like that, he could have a real good play. All right. Well, a lot of folks are drafting this weekend now and that the preseason is now over. You have some late round picks that could be of some good value down the road. Yeah. Let's start with them. I know this guy that you're pretty happy with, Giants running back Ahmad Bradshaw. Yeah, Ahmad Bradshaw. He backs up Brandon Jacobs, who is the stud, but I'll tell you right now, Ahmad Bradshaw is definitely going to be backing up uh, Jacobs and doing a good job. We think that he'll uh, get a lot of touches. Jacobs has a tendency to get injured. Another player is Liddell Betts with the Washington Redskins. Liddell Betts backs up Clinton Portis, who's the starter in Washington. But Portis is 28 years old. He tends to get dinged up. So in a late round, if you pick up Liddell Betts, there's good value there as well. And now, former Cardinals offensive coordinator Todd Haley is now head coach for the Chiefs with a weapon at wide receiver Mark Bradley, another guy you like. Yeah, you know what? For a late round pick, Bradley, he was in the doghouse, but it looks like he's going to be the number two wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's another real good pick. And then we always have to end one with an Arizona player. <laughs> Tess. And okay. this guy here, Jeremy Urban, he's the next guy I want to talk about. The Cardinals, we all know the Cardinals are stacked at wide receiver, but Bolden will get injured. Breston may get dinged up. If you've got a late round pick, pick up Jeremy Urban. He could be a great pick and fill in for you. Is he on the second or third string then? Well, you know what? He's playing the number three, the number four role on the oh, team okay. right now. But I'll tell you, Coach Wisenhunt isn't scared to start him either. Well, then those are the ones that you really, those are the sleep or as you call those the sleepers late round sleepers, sleepers. players that aren't going to start right away tests but if you have them on your roster and one of the starters gets hurt for example if Brandon Jacobs goes down mm -hmm. all of a sudden you've got the New York Giants you got a mod Bradshaw you got a number one fantasy football running back playing for you there see I'm learning a little bit oh slowly, yeah but surely, dusting Jeff. off dusting it off right <laughs> that's right Tess and finally I know every Sunday you will have a great offer for our viewers absolutely for viewers only go to fantasyfootballstarters.com register only and then if you email me, Jeff at fantasyfootballstarters.com, letting me know that you registered, I will upgrade you to our power package that has power analyzer tools for your lineup, for trades, for making, uh, setting up your draft, anything that you want, 995 value, absolutely free. I'll upgrade anybody that views this segment. So for all those other crazy football people out there, join Jeff and his game because they literally, um, this is their time of the year when football is everything they do. It's our Christmas season <laughs> test. And I know real quickly, we want to mention a cool contest you guys are doing all to benefit a charity. Yes, exactly. Beginning on Tuesday, we are going to announce a lineup contest that we're going to be doing. We're going to have it every week. It's a weekly lineup challenge. It's free and it's for a great cause. At the end of the year, we want everybody to play. It's real simple. At the end of the year, $1,000 is going to go into a charitable donation um, from fantasyfootballstarters.com. So we're going to unveil what the charity is on Tuesday and how easy the lineup contest is to play. I'm going to expect you to play tests as well during the week. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's free and you get to compete against experts. And I'm the first expert that you're going to compete against this week so go easy I'll on forget everybody. about playing against you <laughs> <laughs> Jeff thank you very much we always uh, appreciate your advice on fantasy football you got it all right still ahead of